<laughs> Look how creepy Mr. Edward is. And he has a badge that says Bob. It's me, Lucky. And your boy has managed to somehow end up in prison once again. This time for putting my finger in Grandma's pie before it was ready to go. Before it was ready to bake. I'm sorry, Grandma, but you shouldn't have called the police on me for that. So I need to escape. But she's trapped me in the super scary, super max, super Edward prison, which I dislike. Uh, oh, he's Oh, no. He's coming. Something's coming. And I don't think it's my dinner. I think it's Mr. Edward. <laughs> oh, no. I dare you to do this. Okay, Mr. Edward. You dared me. So that means I'm allowed to do it. I am going to break my way out of this prison. I'm going to escape and I'm going to take an entire bicycle down to your house. I'm going to throw the bicycle at you. And then we're going to shake hands and make up. We're going to be best friends. Before you punch me and I yell at you and I, I hit you with my karate chop. Why is it so dark here? Oh, no. This place is... Oh, Mr. Edwards' prison. Why is his prison so spooky compared to all of the other prisons we've played? He doesn't even look that different from, like, the other prisons we've escaped. Why is he... He's just a weird, creepy man. This man loves his atmosphere. In another life, he was a horror director. Uh, Mr. Edward made many horror movies back in the day. Many which featured a gigantic fan that does absolutely nothing for ventilation. Woohoo! I don't like my prison outfit. I miss my Blocky blue. My blo oh, the lights are back on inside the vent. Hey, I can see again. Wahoo! I'm out. Ugh. Okay, well, I'm going to the right this time. Uh, Mr. Edward left a little tricky trap for me, huh? Whoa, why can't I take these? I should be able to equip myself with super guns to arm against Mr. Edward and his evil demons. Oh no, lasers. Well, guess what? Lasers wouldn't be a problem if we had guns. Well, actually, they probably would still be. But Mr. Edward would it? Ow, ow, youch, yowzer, ow. And by guns, I mean water pistols, not actual guns. Uh, because if there's one thing Mr. Edward hates, it's bullets. But if there's one thing he loves, it's uh, water guns. And, you know, he's more likely to be less mad when you hit him with water guns. <laughs> with water blasters, with water pistols. <laughs> Hello! How's it going? Hello, wow, the, why aren't they escaping with me? Hey, buddies, I, I'm breaking out of here. You want to come with me? Or maybe they're all afraid of Mr. Edward, the man, the may- Oh, is that him? Hold on a second. Wait a second. Oh, let me check his face. It's not Mr. Edward. That's Bob! Then where's Mr. Edward? Hey, hey, they're dancing for me. Yeah, boys, don't worry. I'll go break you out once I escape myself. I'm not going to do that. These guys are in prison for doing bad things, unlike me. I'm just going to let them stay in here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a good one. Hey, that guy's still asleep. He's missing the commotion. What? Oh, Mr. Edward spilt his cotton candy all over the ground. No wonder I've been able to escape. It short-circuited all the electricity, and I punched down my cell door, all because of his cotton candy addiction. Well, Mr. Edward always was a clown. <laughs> Whee! Oh, this prison was built on top of a gigantic volcano! And... The volcano was super active as well because they realized that they they can't get the inmates the oof penalty they're gonna have to come up with a creative way to do it and oofing by volcanic eruption that was the best way to go whoa that they decided even though they don't know when it's gonna erupt and the you know the guards could be in trouble but that's why they also have an anti-volcano shelter which may or may not work they've never actually tested it on a proper volcano but this is why we're gonna test it on Mr. Edward. <laughs> Soon as I get my hands on him, Mr. Edward's gonna become Mr. Please Don't Hit Me. Because <laughs> I'm gonna slap him for keeping me locked up and trying to oof me with all his yucky yuckness. With all his stinky stinkness and blinky blinkness. Boink, doink, kigloink. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hello, partner. Hey, howdy there, partner. Howdy, watch me escape out of this prison. I'm about to go show you how it's done. 
Dude, these pipes would absolutely fall in an instant if I was doing that in real life. Like, my, I'm a, I'm a heavy, I'm a heavy blocky. I'm a heavy grown blocky boy. Oh, watch out for the showers. Oh, I got showered. If there's one thing that's, ow. If there's one thing that's blocky's weakness, it's a good bit of showering. I like being the stinker, the little stink demon that I am. Little is really stinking up the area. <laughs> Ooh, they can smell me coming from a mile away. Out of my way, shower boys. Yeah, get those yucky showers out of here. Yuck, 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 yuck. I am gonna live the rest of my life. Oh my goodness, is that the Grim Reaper? I'm gonna live, I must have passed away because of my stink. Even though I said I was gonna say I'm gonna live the rest of my life smelling as bad as possible. That is a creepy Grim Reaper. I feel like you're more dangerous than Mr. Edward. Like, in reality, Mr. Edward's just like a normal security guard. I don't even know why I'm afraid of him. He's just a normal dude. He's a normal guy. I'm a normal guy, too. I could probably beat him in an eating contest. But she looks like she has evil powers. Superpowers, if I may say so myself. And that is super deadly. Oh, the radio. They know I'm breaking out. They know I'm trying to be free. Well, that's not going to stop me from running. My life is on the line. My mother requires aid. And I'm going to go perform CPR on her. She lives in th four states away, but I'll get there within 23 hours. Uh, if I put my legs... In oh, wowie, wow, wow, wow. If I put my legs into high gear, I'm going to be able to make it to my mum. Go, 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 go. Don't touch the landmines. Don't touch the landmines. And now we got to get past the big checkerboard. Donkey, donkey, donk, donk, donkey, donk, donk, bong, bong, checkers. I'm good at checkers. I practiced on the prison checkerboards. They were much smaller, but I still did it. What the... What the? It's Mr. Edward! No! Oh, 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 oh. It's a good thing Mr. Edward's so slow. It's a good thing he's really got those slow little Edward leggies. Wahoo! Goodbye, Mr. Edward. I'm gonna go feed my grandma and perform CPR on my mom. Who probably doesn't need it anymore because I'm sure she got taken to the hospital and she's in good hands. But still, what? Do I go up here? Oh! What? Ah, it's Mr. Edward is what? Mr. Edward's become King Kong? What the barnacles? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna take you down, Mr. Redwood, as soon as I get my grape juice. Uh, and I could use this to sprint over to my grandma. Oh my goodness, I'm out of here, Mr. Redwood. I never liked prison, that's my secret. I always thought prison was for nerds. You know, I'm gonna go up there with my speed and jump pad and teach him a lesson. Here I come, Mr. Edward! No! I'm... Ow! What the... Ah! Guys, smash like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Lucky!